Hello, uh, all our listeners this week, and welcome to episode 20, 27 of the Daybot Cast. Oh, that was. <laughs> 27. That, sure. Okay, anyways, um, <laughs> as always, uh, this is a, uh, a weekly podcast show where the three of us talk about K-pop and what's going in the world of K-pop at the moment. Or uh, just general topics, I guess. Um, so, as always, this week I'm joined by Nate. Genius is not the answer to all questions. Hey, hey, it's hey. the question it's my to quote. all answers. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? That's, what, that's yeah, not yeah. surprising at all. Wait, what is that? <laughs> Tablo says quote. it in like half of <laughs> Epic High songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lesson one. That's lesson one right there. All right. So, anyways, also, Andrew... Um, first off, just want to offer a moment of silence for my cell phone. <laughs> okay. Rip. So what happened was, <coughs> it I had it in like my I had it in like a jacket pocket, and I was as I was getting in the car, it fell out just as I was closing the door. So it got jammed in between the car door <coughs> and like the, the the frame, and it got so. Was it on like the ground? No, uh, like on the ground of the car, no, like like no, on it, the plate, the foot stop. No, it, no he I, smashed I, it in between the door, like when closing. Like the as door. it was falling. Yeah, as, yeah. Well, as it was falling. Oh man! Like as so he slammed the door into it. I mean, you can't tell much from here, but yeah, like it, it, this thing's dead now. So, oh, I needed a new one anyway. So yeah, I ripped my phone. Number two, there are way too many concerts for me to attend right now. Like, I know that sounds like a first world <laughs> problem, but. This, it, that's definitely a first world problem. Because, okay. First world New York City problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, a first world yeah, problem. New York City is just incredibly blessed with how many freaking concerts we're getting within the next four months. Just oh, just the next four months. Okay, so tomorrow there's Monster X. Monster X. If I knock on wood, if I actually get into Monster X, because the tickets right now are like. I'm checking. I'm going to be checking throughout the entire show because the tickets. Uh, since it's tomorrow, I'm kind of hoping to, like, stop <coughs> up it. So, we have Monster X, then we have um, G-Dragon, then on August 8th, I have tickets to this, I'm, Eric and Nam's doing a thing, then August 27th, 17, September 1st, Taeyang, September 20th, Card, September 29th, and then Tenna, and Tenna, like, brand, or the label concert, so there's just way too much for me to attend right now, it's... Antenna Town. <laughs> Antenna Town, is that what they're gonna call it? I wonder if Yuhi all will be the host. Yeah, no, he's there. They, he's, uh, uh, he's there. His it ba- said Toy was that going, so his, he's the he oh. is the only member of Toy. So yeah, his, oh, it's okay. the one man so band. That's cool. But I'm, I'm mostly I'm mostly there for uh, Sam Kim because he's like the only and and the person who was on um, K-pop star. Oh, I'd want to see Kwon Jina. Yeah, because Kwon Jina is. I think she's. Good. I think she's going. Yeah, because it's it's everyone that's on the Antenna label basically. And Antenna, so yeah. And number three, um, what did I want to talk about for number three? Uh, oh yeah, just KCON announcements. I don't think we did. I don't think we we talked about last week's KCON announcements. Cause we did. Did we? I brought them up. Yeah, I brought them up. Because it was card last week. They announced who. Yeah. It was card. I said it was it was card and one one. Oh yeah, it was card and one one. This week it was. We talked about it. It was super. Who was it? Super Junior D and E. Is what yeah, yeah, Dong, uh, yeah. Dong Hae and Eunhyuk. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was Super Junior D&E and... Um, Wait, isn't... I thought Eunhyuk is in the army right now, though. I'm guessing I he, think he just got out. I'm guessing he just I got out. He oh, literally okay. just got out this week. Yeah, because <laughs> I just saw <laughs> pictures of him in they his literally, uniform. He literally, I remember so. reading... Yeah, I saw that. He, he got about discharged. About one of them getting out. He literally just got discharged and he already has something scheduled for, like, the next month. That's insane. <laughs> SM, SM has no chill. Yeah, so it's... It, it, it's Super Junior D and E and um, Got Seven as the uh, I'm guessing it's their final announcement because they already they have a how many is that now nine they have a yeah they have a lot they have a lot of artists or is it ten now because I mean they've been announcing two every week so I, it's this should be it by now yeah yeah I don't I don't see them doing more well well then again it is three days though isn't it it's, or is it one day just convention well the first the first day is just the convention that's the only that's the only problem oh, okay. Wait, it's Donghae right. in in Unyuk? Yeah, yeah. So it says Donghae. Oh, Donghae is discharged two days after Unyuk. Uh, it says in this article oh. <laughs> Donghae is still serving, but then it says he gets discharged like tomorrow or something. That's crazy. Yeah, I, know. I was gonna say they have. Yeah, well, it's July twelfth. Yeah, so tomorrow. Yesterday was Unyuk, and tomorrow is Donghae. 
<laughs> yeah, they probably enlisted. Do they even have? Do they even, have, do they even yeah. have time to practice or anything? <laughs> They've been in the military for how many years now? Yeah. Well, Two I don't years. know. They don't. They don't. They don't have very many songs though, as as yeah. the unit. So. And then they uh, should be in, fine. in October, their Suji is coming back with seven members. Um, oh, seven members, Suji. That's so crazy. Yeah. Super Junior with less members than SNSD. <laughs> well, they they kicked out the one dude decided he couldn't go because the people were idiots. Um, Wait, I don't what know dude? If you heard about the dude who got married? Yeah, he got married. So. Oh, that, uh, like Sungman fans, or fans were like petitioning for him to not, not be in- be able to come back and be in the group and get kicked out. Um, oh, because he got married <laughs> behind their backs. Oh, as fans. that's so stupid. Their Opa got That's married. That's another topic, though. <laughs> yeah. And so that he, yeah, just, I think he said he's not going to be... Name. He's not going to be in the next comeback. He decided not to do it. Whatever. Yeah. That's another Anyways. Topic sure. Wait, don't you have your thing to do? You can see my name. Yeah. I'm Jacob. Yeah, I'll do... I'll, it, they're all depressing, though, so... <laughs> we'll, we'll find... Let's see. Let's open the page. Let's find nice. someone to walk with you who will make you forget where you're headed. That's not depressing. It's That's a pretty like, good one, actually. I can't snap. Tablo. I can't snap. <laughs> like I'm, I can barely uh, snap. I'm literally, I, ha- I literally have my he- fingers right next to the mic. Nothing's coming out. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, uh, anyways, you know my yeah. name. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so let's get started. Topic one, which is, is the one I'm most uh, excited for, is the review of Red Velvet's new mini album, Red Summer. Uh, the the red, red summer. summer, not just red summer. Wait, it's the, it's yes, the red the, summer, the red summer. The red, oh, red summer. No. <laughs> yeah, I've been ever since this came out. I've been listening to Red Velvet like nonstop. Actually, yes, no, um, same, yeah, same. Like, watch it. I've been watching them like Friday show stuff. So mm-hmm. yeah, same boat. So Nate. So Nate, take it away with the track list. Yep. Uh, first song title track, which is Belgian Ma, uh, Red Flavor. Belgian Ma. Yep, Belgian Ma. Uh, and it's just like this. It's a summer pop song. That's the best way to describe summer it. Summer is saved. I mean, we thought that Sistar, when yeah, the Sistar was gone, there wouldn't be any more summer tracks. <laughs> I'm and glad Red Velvet to pick summer up track track soon too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yes, one. Oh yeah, that's true. From Starship, um, Starship, yeah, Starship. Up their own like, oh, Sistar's gone. We'll just throw the song that we would have gave them. <laughs> yeah. How weird would that be? A WJSN, a WJSN performing a Sistar. WJSN doing touch, like, my, touch my body. That, or that'd be amazing. Oh, no, they lie. Do, no lie. They did perform, uh, "Loving You." Maybe I don't know. One of them. Anyway, way, you, let's get back to Red Velvet. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. Right off the bat from the teasers, I was like, this reminds me a lot of, uh, like, Happiness era Red Velvet. Like, not Music so much video in the, especially. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, not so much in the, uh, the, um, chorus, but more so in, like, the verses, uh, leading up to it and stuff. It's a lot more that vibe, I guess, mm-hmm. compared to, like, Dumb Dumb or Rookie. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, yep. it's definitely a, a different aesthetic for them recently. My only problem, my only problem... It's called the red flavor, and only one of because they all of them represent like a type of like a fruit. So, like only I, one of them's red. Yeah, only one of them is red. Oh, Irene is the only one that, on the inside. Yeah, well, Irene is the only one that has a, a flavor because she she's watermelon. The only she's the only one yeah. that has any semblance of red because yeah nobody nobody was strawberry yeah, they, or cherry. Like, yeah. Strawberry yeah. cherry they picked grape. Like what? Orange or like pineapple? Pineapple, which is the worst. Oh, I'm sorry. Kiwi. I'm kiwi. I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, as much as I love sulgi, no, no pineapple. <laughs> yeah, like it's pineapple. my least. It's my least favorite flavor out of the five. For my oh, favorite out of the member. five. I know okay. it's it's kind of sacrilegious for me not to like pineapple. My 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 heritage comes from a tropical place, but I hate it. I hate it so much. It tastes so bad. <laughs> The only um, fruit that gives me that like reaction is cantaloupe. Like, no. Yeah, can- <laughs> yeah, cantaloupe's not. Yeah, I agree. Like, it, it's ironic though. Like, Sogi's like my bias, but I love watermelon the most. So, <laughs> I guess Irene would be bias wrecking me because Go I fight Cooper. <laughs> he renamed himself the watermelon trash. He's watermelon trash. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. well, to- he he named himself Irene trash, and I changed it to watermelon. Trash. <laughs> yeah, because I forgot you can change it in Facebook now. Anyway, um. Yep. Uh, one thing I wanted to note about this song is that in terms of the style of the song, is that there's two different aspects that I um, the verses 
are sort of a give me like a swing type vibe especially with if you pay attention to the drum beat in the background it seems i don't know if it's I guess you can call it a trend because there's a lot of it seems like a lot of girl groups are doing swing inspired songs as of late because you have this you have you have uh, Red Flavor you have um, Signal by Twice and then you have um, Coloring Book by Oh My Girl so all of them have this sort of similar type of vibe similar sort of choreography in this one I think more like a like a motif, I guess. Yeah, this very similar yeah. motif, def- definitely. So I guess this is the trend or whatever. I, I like it. And then the other sort of um, aspect that I point out in the song is that the pre-chorus, it it goes into this like really like future bass type electro- like electronic beat, which I really love. It's It sounds like a lot of the stuff I listen to on SoundCloud. So it's 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 a new sound for Red Velvet, but I like it. Or it's... I know it's weird to say it's, it sounds a lot more upbeat than their songs normally would be, but this song is very, <laughs> this song is very, very Yeah, upbeat. no, it's even more like they're here. It's yeah, even, like it, it's it, a, it just took, yeah, it just took, it just took like their, like the, the sort of like emotion or like the, the level of like the, the song that they're trying to like deliver like to another level. Cause I'm guessing it's, it's a summer song, so it's supposed to feel happy and very vibrant. I mean, it could, that comes off in, like, the visuals as well. It's, like, obviously it's typical Red Velvet acid trip. Like, they're talking to, like, watermelons. or well, I have no idea what's going on in that music video. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, that's yeah, just the, what they do. Like, right in the beginning of the music video, it looked like they're, like, interviewing the fruit that they represent. Yep. And then um, towards the middle, like it shows more, like like in the bottom, it shows you like subtitles of what the fruit are saying to them, because <laughs> it's all muffled. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh yeah. wait, could you read any of it or? Uh, I read some of it. Like the right in the beginning, it was like um, when I was young, I wasn't that sweet, but as I grew older, I became ripe. Because <laughs> like you're supposed to like, yeah, That's you're weird. supposed to age like the the fruits correctly, or else the fruit, yeah, yeah. And then, um, anyways, throughout it showed like little small clips, and then, in one part, it did the cloning thing that Red Velvet always does, like in Dum Dum, uh, yeah, 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 a little bit. Like Solgi yeah. was holding the mic as she was, yeah, yeah, she was holding interviewing the mic. herself. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, the aesthetic's weird, like usual. I mean, go watch Happiness. That's the most trippy of all their music videos, and <laughs> it, they've they've always done that. Um. But yeah, I think this is probably my second favorite. Red Velvet single yes. after Russian Roulette. Yes, yeah, no, um, easily, easily, probably, and I could easily put this in my top five songs of the of the year already. Like, I like this way better too. than I liked Rookie. Like, again, Rookie wasn't bad, but this song is just. I didn't necessarily expect this from Red Velvet, which is probably why I'm so impressed with it because I I tried to keep myself free of the teasers, so it's just. It's them, but it's yeah, I again. Didn't watch it's, any it, of them again, like I, I was explaining this in a Tumblr post about like the popularity of Red Velvet, but again, I like again the thing I appreciate them about them is that it's everything's always different. Like none of their none of their albums are ever the same sort of style. Even even between the the concepts, even if they share concepts, like if it's a Red style track or if it's a Velvet style track, it's still very it's still very different. Yeah. Yep. Also, I think. There's, oh, good. Uh, all right. So what I was gonna say is, for me, like it definitely is a new, uh, <laughs> no pun intended, flavor for Red Velvet. Yeah, that, that, but it's still that's a perfect word to describe it. It still definitely, yeah. It still definitely feels like them. Like it's a different flavor, not an entirely new like like concept. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's the same. Like say Red Velvet is a is a like a slushy or something or a snow cone. It's just a different like flavoring that they put on top. Yeah, it's of not it, like ice cream or something. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. One um, or one last thing, I you guys I don't know if you guys agree, but all of their hair is just on point in the in like this this comeback. Yeah, Wendy finally has hair that doesn't look ridiculous. No, her ombre. Look, <laughs> Wendy, yeah, Wendy's hair is really good. Her ombre looks yeah, Wendy so gets amazing. Sc- screwed every time. Um, I, oh yeah, Wendy has a nice ombre. Well, Sulgi just has like the brown hair again, which is fine. But I mean, I, I love mm-hmm. Sulgi. Um, Joy with red hair, amazing, amazing, like bias wrecking me um again i every group should have somebody do that that hair style every comeback <laughs> every group like should the, like <laughs> the red deep red yeah color, just like yeah, yeah mm-hmm. i mean because uh like snsd did it for um for party with uh with sunny for party with sunny okay yeah. And, yeah, then, sunny, yeah. and then jerry's blonde which she I, she should just stay blonde because that's the it's hard to yeah it suits her and because it's, it's hard to pick her out when she has matching hair color with everyone else <laughs> i'm sorry Jerry. And then the, I like Irene's bangs. The only thing is though, it's they're kind of messy. Like I wish they were more like 
don't like the bangs. But like, I don't mind the bangs. Yeah, they're, they're kind of weird. Well, because they're supposed yeah. to be, like the gushite. They're supposed to be messy bangs, which I, I get the I get the whole style. But I kind I kind of prefer just straight bangs, like you know, like Wean's hairstyle. Like if you went with that, I would be okay with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't a huge fan of them. Cooper will get mad. But <laughs> uh, Irene's perfect. Anyway, <laughs> Irene trash. <laughs> Last thing, there's a part in the choreo where a soul gay couple dances with everyone, and it's the best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The choreography was very, it was, it's on point. I mean, it's, it's nothing too crazy. Obviously, it's red velvet, but there, I, I still like their choreography a lot because it's very emotive. Hmm. I have two more things that I want to say about wow, this song. Wow, we really like this song. Um, <laughs> We've been going yeah, yeah, no, for like it's really, really minutes. good. Yeah, so anyways, um, two more things. Um, I really like Irene's rap in this, actually. Yeah, no, I love the rap I thought break. it was really nice and catchy. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the end, where Wendy's like solo part at the end. Amazing. I love that. It's my Amazing. Favorite part of the song. And then I like the part where Yeri's just like, red. It's just like really catchy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, during the raps. Yeah. Yeah. Red. Um, moving on to You Better Know. Which is like a more chill summer <coughs> dance song, mm-hmm. but this, this reminds me of like American pop song actually. Um, it's you, so good. You know what though. this reminds me of? Like, oh. Yeah, it's really. Good. You know what, what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Airplane off of uh, FX, Airplane by FX. FX's yeah, I the exact same pink, pink tape, like. Yeah. And Airplane is probably my favorite FX song, so. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, Airplane's probably top three for me. So. So you know, I like. I wonder if it was produced by the same people. Um, I, I double check this. It sounds exactly the same. Like they are literally. Um, one, like. Two. It's like four walls and and view like that similar like that kind of like. Um, that. I don't think London Noise worked on or I don't think London Noise. London think Noise worked on the next yeah. track. Um. This well, I mean, like, a, like by how like similar they are, like in relationship. Oh yeah, say. like this is a sequel to Airplane. Yeah, basically. no, like I, I yeah. can totally see this as a sequel to Airplane. It has the same sort of vibe to it, and yeah, just like maybe it's spoilers, but this might end up being the Airplane for Red Velvet, just because of like how much mm-hmm. I like this album a lot. But um, uh, both. just as of a background on the producer, or one of the producers is Kanata Okajima. Okay, so this is her. Oh. This is her background. She's worked with Soshi. She's worked with Boa. She's worked with Exile, a J-pop group. She's worked with E Girls, uh, a, a girl J-pop group. Infinite J-pop group. J-pop group. Melody Day. Sh- she wrote. She did the or she produced Whoa. Speed Infinite. Up by Melody Day, and she produced Could This one. Could This Be Love by Gugu Don. I think it's like an album track. Yeah. Right I don't know that song. <laughs> yeah, it's an album. I was gonna say it's an album track for sure. Yes. I just don't know it by name. Yeah, but. If I heard it, I would know. Yeah, but she, she's pretty. She's pretty prolific, especially in like both K-pop and J-pop. So that's probably why it's the the production val- or is very good on this song. Um, yeah. The one thing I have to say about this is, oh my god, the chorus is actually absolutely perfect. Mm-hmm. Like the oh, impact, yeah, yeah. like yeah, the- it comes in at just the right time and it just hits you like you're being hit by like a gust of wind. Like I'm trying, but- I'm trying to think. Like, are- has there ever been a Red Velvet album with like? vocals this powerful because i don't know maybe because it's because i'm trying to maybe it's because i everything's just like so like far off in my mind but uh, i i i can't really remember like maybe not since like one of these wendy's, nice. wendy's always this powerful wendy's she's, always is but yeah. It, yeah i don't know it's, it's, it's not she's it's the not tan special of to this album but it, 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 but it definitely stood out a lot more than it usually did well i think it's the way they produced it with the uh like the instrumentals and the the zzz in the background. Yeah, just like that whole. It definitely like pushes it forward. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, th- this is another like top notch song for me. Yep. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably my favorite on the album for it's me. It's my second favorite. So you better yeah, I, I think it's still I think it's still um red flavor for me his favorite. Nope. Next song for me, Zoo. <laughs> okay. Love this song. It's so fucking weird. It's so good. I don't know. It's it was too weird okay. for me. Damn. Called it. He didn't like it. I, I, like called it. It. I don't. I, I don't. Like and Jacob and I like it. <laughs> okay, it, it's not I that. I, it. Okay, it's not that I hate it. Hate it. it okay, I like the beat because it, it's it's produced by London Noise. So obviously, I love I, I love their work. Mm-hmm. It's just it feels like the the lyrics didn't necessarily like the vocals didn't necessarily live up to the beat. I mean, I I, get, I, I can understand making a weird song and like Sulgi has like the oh like the Tarzan yeah yeah you know, the Tarzan, the Tarzan call <laughs> and like the freaking elephant samples or whatever. But I don't yeah, know. It just didn't. Sounds, it just so didn't. Different animal sounds. It just didn't end up sticking out to me as much. Or it, 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 oh, it, it the vocals didn't really live up to me. Yeah yeah. I don't know. I, like, it just it's insane. Whoever thought I was of this really is impressed by like again like the. Th- uh, 
synesthesiac, I guess is the adverb, or the oh, adverb, you look, uh, you looked adjective it up? of it. Yeah. No, no, I, I just oh, made that up. I'm hoping it's right. No, synesthesia is the term for if you're yeah, able yeah, to associate I'm, colors or like emotions with. Yeah, the the synesthesiac reaction. I don't know what else I would call it, but anyways, yeah. it, it makes me think of like a, a jungle, which I know it's tropical house, but like more so than anything, really, like it really. Gets the whole jungle vibe there, yep. like, pulls it off, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was like Red Velvet stole a song from Card. So, well, I guess. Well, I mean, it, looks, it looks like that one. Like, <laughs> yeah. It looks like that one set from Happiness in my head. It does, yeah. It, it, sounds, it sounds exactly <laughs> like that. That's what I pictured, too. Minus, minus to the wrong. controversial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No bombings. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's my favorite song, just because of how ridiculous it is. Uh, next is Mojito, or in Korean, it's Yaram Beat, which is uh, Summer Light. Summer Light, yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, One of the so two of the few it, words I know. Yaram know is summer and beat is light. Mojito is in English and Summer Light in Korean, but whatever. Because the, um, so the, cor one... the chorus actually says Mojito, so I don't know. Oh, does it? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. This is another like chiller, more chill song. Okay. Um, this one didn't actually stand out to me that much. It did. I think if I were to put, I'd I'd say Zoo stand it out way more than to than me or than this song to me because, okay, maybe again because I was a bit disappointed with because the the first ten seconds of the song, there's like that like the build up of it. It sounds like something that um Blink One Eighty Two or Angels and Airwaves would do, and Blink One Eighty Two is one of my favorite like groups, and Angels and Airwaves is the group that Tom DeLonge formed after Blink One Eighty Two broke after, up the yeah, Blink, yeah. they after Blink broke up the first time. So it's just like that really like electronic drum type sound, and I thought it was like oh shoot, I think I do like an Angels and Airwaves type song, and then no, it just kind of goes into something. I guess it's just, <laughs> like the beginning started like that. Yeah, and then it just didn't it, like the vibe didn't really follow throughout the rest of the song for me, so. I guess that's why I'm kind of disappointed with it. I mean, it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's just it. Did, no, yeah. It just, yeah, I was I wasn't disappointed. I was just kind of it just didn't stand out. Yeah, because like, I mean, we, like uh, like it didn't stand out with all like the the other like good songs that are off this album as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's just nitpicking at this point, basically. Yeah, like um, like for me, I thought the entire album was really good. Um, yeah, like, yeah. Like I liked yeah, every definitely. single song off of it. This is probably my least favorite, but that being said. This is totally a song I would probably throw on my playlist and just like like vibe to, I guess. Because well, it's catchy. Like it's just chill enough. Yeah. Well, it's also it doesn't it doesn't go all over the place, but it goes yeah, enough. Yeah, it well, yeah, that's chills, I guess that's maybe that's one of know. the sort of things I was disappointed by where there was so much build up, but there wasn't at least there wasn't the the only real build up during the song was during that intro part where the choruses and the verses seems to be sort of on that same like emotive or the same le level, so to speak. So yeah. Yeah. Um, and the last one is uh, Baraga Dula, uh, Dula. Yeah. Tulia. Tula, uh, which is here the sea. Um, it's about. This is their velvet song. Yep. Too bad it'll. Song. Too bad it'll never get to be a single. <laughs> too bad. Oh. Yeah, this, this is probably my third favorite song. Yeah, no, I like the song a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was good. I, I don't know. I guess it just didn't live up to like. Well, their, I tie their this velvet. with you actually. Like it didn't live up with their top tier velvet songs, so I guess I was a like little one disappointed. Of these nights. Since we're never really? we like we won't get <laughs> them I mean, as singles anymore. I mean, uh, so I was kind of hoping they would put a single quality velvet song on the album at least. Um. And this, so, so I was a little disappointed with this, but I mean, it's not bad either. It's not like, bad. No, it's not it's bad. The same it's, as the last. The song. production is by Mono Tree, so obviously they're really good at uh, almost everything they do is basically ballads. So, but I actually mm -hmm. no, I really like this song. I again, I'd easily. I don't know I, if you didn't, if you better know wasn't on this, I'd put this in my top two. But like, I guess. I mean, it's never gonna. I don't think it'll ever live up to one of these nights, obviously, because I think that's probably that's obviously their best Velvet song. But I like this because it kind of gave me. It reminded me of a Soshi album track because like it's sort of the ballad style of yeah, singing that it, they do. I wonder if it's the same. Uh, I actually had a specific track that it reminded me of. It reminded me of uh, Sunflower from The Boys. Oh that's yeah, what yeah, that's what I was yeah, thinking of right. too. I was just I was trying to like, what Soshi song does this remind me of? Uh, I was thinking of like. Yeah. 
uh, I forget. I- I forget what I was thinking of, but yeah, it just gave me that same sort of vibe in how like the in how the chorus vocals are, especially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I I really liked it. It's like a slow R and B going sort of into the ballad side. But yeah, I wish yeah, we'd yeah. get more of these songs. I, I wish this was a. F- I love their velvet. I wish side. this was a full album. I, w- I want another the velvet. I want the velvet too. Give me it. I don't think please. we'll ever get the velvet too. They, they, they don't, don't make sell. money. On, we won't, they don't make I money off it. velvet, so. But again, I wish this was a full album. Like it's it's a shame that this is only a mini because what what we got from like I want more of this or I'd like to see what they would have added to this that also went along with this concept. Mhm. Yep. So but yeah. So anyways, I guess we need our uh our ratings out of 10. Yep. I I gave it a 9 out of 10. I really really love this mini album. So that is my score out of 10. So what do you guys got? Nate. Yeah, same. I think. Okay. I'd, I'd probably give it a full point. Or uh, one point off for songs, just because the last two songs I wasn't as keen on. But full points yeah. for concept and the bonus bias point. Cause Easily. Yeah. I don't think we're ever going to review an album that I don't give that bonus point. <laughs> so my, it probably doesn't yes. need to exist, but sure. It's a I mean, there's some some of them that like some people might have a bias towards yeah, it, but okay. I remember not. I lied. I wouldn't have given it to Yucko. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have I given it to so. Yucko. <laughs> easily, I love, I love Yucko. All right, wait. So Nate, you gave it a nine? Yeah, I gave it a nine as well. Okay. All right. What's Andrew got? Five out of six for music. Three out of three for concept. One out of one for bias. If I could give th- yeah, so same. two out of one for bias, so I nine. would. Like, or no, if I All could, right, if so. I could give four out of three for concept, I would, because this concept was amazing. Like. Like it's, it's weird. It's very colorful, vibrant. Like, ugh. yeah. I mean, I don't think we don't have to do the math. This is this is a. I was gonna say, Jacob, you need time to yeah, do the math. Out of 10. This is like get no. the, <laughs> get the stamp out. This is our first truly Daybok album. Yeah, yeah. Truly Daybok album. That's not our like, first truly so Daybok album. I Under think the it new- is. It's the first one that reached nine out of ten. Yeah. On our oh, new out rubric. of our yeah okay. On our rubric. Yeah. So yeah. It's not our so, first yeah. Daybok seal of approval. But it's our first. It's our first, album. our first, our okay. first original, like official. How long until we get a ten out of ten? Album. Sochi. Well, <laughs> yeah, Sochi. I don't want to be chilling I that crap know, out like, of it. I'll, it'll, it, it'll take a lot for me to get. Andrew's a 10 gonna out of 10. ruin it. It'll get, well, yeah, but if I give it a ten out of ten and Jacob gives it a ten out of ten and you give it a nine out of ten, it rounds up to ten out of ten. So, because yeah, if you divide that by three, it, it's like it'd be nine point six. Yeah, repeating. yeah. So, so it doesn't matter yeah. anyway. But yeah, this is probably. I know we're only halfway into the year, but this is probably going to go down as one of the best albums of the entire year, probably. Yeah, the card comes out. We'll see. Yeah, we got. We, we know uh, most of the songs. Yeah, on we card. had Taeon, we had this, we had Hyako for me and, and Andrew at least. <laughs> so yeah, a bunch of really good albums this year. Freaking Chodong rapping would be so cute though. <laughs> I don't think because her vo- her voice is so soft, like it's a soft. Yeah, I'm pretty voice like I'm pretty sure life. half the group have just permanent agio. <laughs> yeah. I want to look up. Who sings that part? No, they don't have lyrics up because it's not a title track. Yes. Yeah, so.